Welcome to Boyville. Today's recipe is a Vietnamese vegetarian dish with veggies covered with caramelized fermented tofu sauce. It has great flavor and texture. The dish is called Mam Thai Jai. Ingredients for this recipe. Just a reminder, I have the written recipe in the description box and on Boyville website. To begin, you need to prep the carrot and cucumbers first. Let's start with the carrot. Peel and rinse with water. You only need one carrot, add more if you like. Cut it into slices and then into 2 inch long strips. Put it into a colander and set aside for now. For the cucumbers, you need about 5 small cucumbers. If you're using large cucumbers, you probably only need about 3. Rinse the cucumbers with water and then cut in half. Remove the center and then cut into slices like this. Put into a bowl and add 3 4 teaspoon of kosher salt. Mix well and then set aside for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, put it into a colander, take the cucumbers and carrot outside and place in the sun to dry. Leave it out in the sun. After a few hours, it should be ready. Take it back inside and rinse with water. Since the cucumbers have salt, rinse it a few more times than the carrot. Drain out the water for both of them, then set it aside. You will need three salted turnips. The package looks something like this. When you take it out of the package, it looks like this. Remember to scrape off the salt. Take each salted turnips, cut it about 2 inches long, then cut it into strips. Soak it in water for about 30 minutes to an hour. After you soak it in water, rinse it at least 4 times, drain out the water and set aside. Now you need to chop the bottom half of one leek, put it into a bowl and set aside. Take half of a pineapple, slice it into small pieces and put it into a bowl. You need to fry half of a tofu block, cut it into thin slices. Deep fry the tofu until it's nice and golden. Let it cool and cut into small pieces. Put in a bowl and set aside. Using a small pan, heat up 2 tablespoons of roast rice powder. Remember to use medium low heat. Constantly stir the powder or else it will burn. Do it for about 1 minute and remove from heat. We're going to cook the turnip and pineapple. You need your pineapple, turnip and leek ready. In the pan, add 2 tablespoons of olive oil. Add about 3 tablespoons of chopped leek. Saute for a few seconds. Using medium-high heat, add in the pineapple. Stir the pineapple and then add in a pinch of salt. Mix it up a little bit and then add in about 4 tablespoons of sugar. Cook until it shrinks a little and then add in the turnip. You will need to add another tablespoon of sugar. Now you want to cook it until it caramelizes and then remove from heat. In a different pan, add 2 tablespoons of olive oil and then add in the rest of the chopped leek. Saute until it's slightly brown. Once it starts to brown, scoop some of it out into a bowl and set aside. Leaving a little bit sauteed leek in the pan, add in two blocks of fermented tofu. You can use spicy or non-spicy fermented tofu. Now you need to smash the fermented tofu using a spoon. Add two tablespoons of soy sauce and mix together. Add about two tablespoons of sugar, mix well. Let it simmer until it starts to thicken a little bit and then remove from heat. It's time to mix all the ingredients together. In a large bowl, add in the pineapple and turnip. Add in the cucumbers. Add in the carrots. Add in the fried tofu. Add in the sauteed leek. And then pour in the fermented tofu with soy sauce mixture. If you like it spicy, you can cut one chili pepper and add it in. 
Now add in the roast rice powder. Cover it and let it sit for at least one hour before serving. Enjoy with some rice. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. Next video will be Hutu Baka. Hope you look forward to it and thanks again for watching. Bye.